Damien here from Above and Beyond. I'm just going to show you how to set up some shipping zones. I'm using this on our test account. This is one of the stores we've created, um, but same thing, same settings. So if you go to Setup and Tools, then you go to um, Shipping. And then under Shipping Zones, depends how uh, detailed you want to go. You can either set it up for a list of postcodes for per state. So if you just want to like ship to certain states, you can go add shipping zone for each state. This is probably the easiest. So you would this is one of one or more states. So you'd select this one, Australia. You would choose uh, Queensland, one for Sydney. You do this over and over again. Um, and then you would go add a shipping method. So you want to go ship by weight. And you would start off, so between 0 kilos and 5 kilograms, it's going to be $10. Between 5 and 10 kilograms, it might be 15 10 to 15 kilograms, it might be 20 You could just change these yourself. And you would keep going and going. This value here is for anything that falls outside of these ranges. So you might want to go $25. Click Save. Right, and you go back to shipping again and do the same thing for, say, New South Wales. But we might want to change the rates and make them a little cheaper for New South Wales. So we go to shipping methods now, ship by weight. About zero to five kilos is only three dollars, and five to ten is only five dollars. Then we might go fifteen is seven dollars, and twenty is nine dollars or ten dollars. So you, you can change the weight based on if they're in Sydney. So that's only for the state, sorry, right? But if you wanted to do it more uh, in much more detail. You would go back to, sh to shipping. Say if you wanted to do it per postcode, this is where it actually gets quite difficult. We'll delete these two and we're going to get really into detail now. We're going to we're going to go. I only want to do specific postcodes in Sydney. Get this rate. So we go add a shipping zone. So we might call it Sydney Metro. This is based not on states or countries, it's based on zip codes. Australia. Right, and then what you need to do is get a list of postcodes for each zone that your shipping provider will ship to. Now, I've just done a quick Google search for postcodes in Sydney. So, um, Central and Northern Sydney, I'm going to do these. 2021 to 2037. Now, you can learn about entering the postcodes here. You click that and it opens a window. So what we could do is it's 2021 to 2037. So 202, you might want to do an asterisk because that means it'll be 0 to 9. Anything, if you read this, an asterisk means any number greater than 665 will be accepted. We'll sub and this one will substitute any number but only in the place that is in question. So 0 to 9 can be... In the place of a question mark. So I should have used a question mark if you want. So that'll do all the 202 ones and 203 question mark. Actually, it'll only go to seven. So you might want to go 30, 2031, 2032. Uh, Sorry, Right, so that'll do 2021s and, oh sorry, and all the way up to 2037. So then you would save that, and that's going to only only to those postcodes, but you'd probably get, we haven't done these, we haven't done them. So you really need a list, a proper list of them that you can just copy and paste in there, and you need to get them off 
your post, um, whoever's doing your shipping. Like I've had it from TNT or Fastway Couriers before. And you've got to basically do that. So say this is for Sydney Metro and we've, we've done all the postcodes. You click next and it's the same deal. You do ship by weight. And you go down. And you start off again. So what rates did the postcode company give you? So they might have a certain weight for Sydney Metro per kilogram. So if it's per kilogram, then it's going to be painful because you've got to go zero to one. And so it might be $2.50. Then you've got to go again, one to two. And they might add an extra $1.50 per kilo. So it might be $4, zero to three. And you either keep going and going. But if you don't want to do be that specific, like per kilogram, you can get we'll just work out the average and do it in blocks of five kilograms. So do it or even ten. It's up to you. So you might know five and then five two. You might do that and just keep going up and up and up. Then remember the default shipping cost is basically anything that falls outside of this range. Alright, and then you click save and then you basically go back through and you've got to do it over and over again for each of the, uh, so if you're doing all the postcodes and all the zones, you're going to have Sydney Metro, Northwest Sydney, Western Sydney, South Sydney. Um, then you're going to have Queensland Metro, Queensland Brisbane, North Queensland. So it, it, the list goes on and on. And we've done this for another client and the list of his zones went on for seven or eight pages. And not only that, we had to add in the postcodes for each of those zones. So possibly if you want to avoid all that drama, you may want to just um, go by state. And then to answer your question about international, same thing. If you want to add a shipping zone for a country overseas, you might do in the USA. No, whatever. You'll just select one of these. You find the USA and then... Um, basically do the same thing it's based off this country these people in this country will get this right okay so you just keep setting up new zones the more zones you have the more sort of specific you can go into hopefully that makes sense and i'll talk to you soon thanks